So hello guys and welcome to my new Genshin Impact video guys in this video we are going to talk about the newest and first 5 star character of Natlan is Mulani. Mulani is a 5 star hydro TPS character and she wields Catalyst as the main weapon. She is super fun guys. Her gameplay, her overall kit is super super fun. First of all she is super for the explore, exploration like if you do exploration with Mulani super duper easy and super duper fun. Yeah, she kind of rides on a shark types of uh, some kind of shark and she is super fun you can boost that shark and if you explore natland it's gonna be very very easy if you ride the shark on mulani so for the exploration is 100 on 100 mulani is super super fun talking about gameplay she deals maximum damage in the normal attack her signature weapon also boost or give normal attack damage bonus and she's very much you know dependable on the normal attack damage in the elemental skill she rides on a shark and kind of uh, uh, triggers some effects called night soul which gives or stack up the normal attack damage bo uh, damage and you can gain a very good amount of normal attack damage and in the elemental burst you also deal some kind of damage a pretty good amount of damage and you also deal a uh, damage in the elemental skill you can attack the enemy three times with the shark and it's super fun the gameplay overall is super fun she is scaled on the max hp the more you have hp on her the more she deals damage on the field so let's just talk about the little working of Mulani that how you gonna play Mulani and how she's gonna deal the damage with the normal attack if you're doing the normal attacks like this just throwing up the whatever she's doing She's not gonna deal that high amount of damage. So how she's gonna deal the high amount of damage during the normal attacks? Basically, when you go in the state of this shark thingy, night soul blessing, and you perform this attack, the shark bites, the shark bites will be considered as the normal attacks. Yes, guys, these normal attacks don't deal the high amount of damage. But when you go in the state of night soul blessing, like riding on the shark, and you perform shark bite like this these shark bites are gonna be considered as normal attack and these normal attacks are gonna be calculated on the basis of your normal attack talents and and their damage are multiplied on the basis of Molani's max HP also they are getting buffed with the with the triggering of elemental skill and you can also stack up some night soul blessing effect and you can gain additional normal attack damage bonus okay we are gonna starting with the weapon first and then we talk about we're gonna talk about the artifact then in the last we're gonna talk about the team compositions so we're starting up with the weapons uh, i already talked about the five star weapons i have created a separate video for the five star weapons you can check out check out that video on my channel and you can go and see that video in this video we only gonna talk about the four star weapons starting up my favorite weapon is the the witset witset is not a f2p weapon but it's a four star weapon and the best four, four star weapon that have a 55 crit damage why 110 base attack and 55 crit damage uh try to give her a crit damage weapon if you are buying a battle pass for the weapon only i'll suggest to not go on the battle pass weapons because she doesn't really need the crit rate as much as he she needs crit damage because her artifacts her ascension will give her lots of crit rate so you don't gonna need a crit rate weapon so the best is give her a crit damage weapon next uh, next weapon is the uh, prototype amber and it's based on the hp percentage and it's free also you can craft this weapon you can forge this weapon in the game f4 absolutely free 41.3% HP and you get getting lots of energy in the uh, refinement abilities so so good and it's amazing but there's a new weapon in the game new forgeable weapon the Natland forgeable catalyst is called the ring of Yakshi and it's super duper good you'll getting around 40% HP here around 500 base attack here and the refinement abilities just made for Mulani every thousand max hp increase normal attack damage dealt by equipping character by 0.6 percent in short you can gain up to 16 percent extra normal attack damage with this refinement ability so these three weapons are going to be very good but if you still want to give her a crit trade or crit damage weapon and you don't have the wet set you can go with the pedal pass weapons that's called the solar pearl and the other one called 
the sacrificial shade okay now we are going to talk about the artifacts guys there's a new artifact in the game and there's a two old artifacts in the game the total of three to four artifact sets in the game that's going to be very very good on Mulani. starting up with the newest artifact is the obsidian codex it's gonna be amazing this artifact is just so good in the two piece in short you're getting extra 15 percent damage dealt on the field any type of damage like literally any type of damage but the demand is the requirement is the character has to has to you know trigger the night soul blessing blessing and the uh, mulani is just, just kind of the uh, you know triggers this night soul blessing so you can get this two piece effect on mulani the four piece effect is whenever you consume a night so night soul point on the field you gain 40 percent extra crit rate for six seconds and you can trigger this effect every second you can literally gain 40 percent crit rate extra crit rate every second and that crit rate gonna last for six seconds it's insane that's why i just told you to not give her a crit rate weapon because she's not gonna need gonna need a proper crit rate weapon because if you're using obsidian codex you're gonna get the loss of lots of crit rate and that is insane guys first choice artifact set is the obsidian codex first choice artifact set is the obsidian codex guys it's amazing artifact sets and try to give this artifact set to molani next up is the very old hod everyone knows about it it's a very old hydro artifact set hod in the two piece simply is giving you 15 percent extra hydro damage bonus and in the four piece it's giving you extra 30 percent normal attack damage bonus for 15 seconds and it's also good you're getting 30 percent extra normal attack damage bonus it's pretty pretty good i just told you that she deals maximum amount of damage in the uh, normal attacks okay there are, there are one more artifact set in the game is it's this but i don't know if this is good or not but in the two piece you're getting extra 15 percent normal and charge attack damage bonus which is good for Molani. and in the four page same like Cody. uh obsidian codex but the working is different it, here you have to have a hp increasing or decreasing like all the founding grand character does but mulani doesn't work like that so if you are in the field and Murani taking damage then somebody is healing mulani i think it, uh, in that way you can gain benefit of this four piece but otherwise it's not that good and there are also many other normal attack damage bonus artifact set in the game they are not good for Mulani like Shimenawa Shimenawa is not good because you lose energy and it's not good because in the two piece you is getting attack percentage that is just useless for Mulani Mulani is properly and totally based on the max HP and so this is useless and also the gladiator is also useless for Mulani it's not good and it's not workable and there are many many more normal attack artifact like this one is this one is also not good the only two good artifacts set is the hod and the obsidian codex or if you want to give her the old set that you already have you can try this artifact set on mulani so these are the artifact set that you can use on mulani and she's gonna be amazing on the field let's talk about what to give her in the artifact set of course in the flower you have you are going to give her the hp the main component to look here is the first choice is the hp percentage second is the crit damage third is the crit rate and fourth is going to be the energy recharge hp recharge is going to be hp percentage is going to be the first priority second priority going to be the crit damage and third priority going to be the crit rate crit rate arc is going to be the dish uh, priority here and of on fourth we are going to give her the energy recharge so in flower hp percentage as a main and in feather hp percentage as the main in sand hp percentage is the main and in feather attack is the main sorry and in goblet hydro damage one is the main and in the circlet i'll suggest giving crit damage is going to be very very good because you're already getting a lots of around 80 percent crit rate in the four piece artifact set of the obsidian codex that's insane guys that's actually insane so that's it for the artifact sets guys okay now let's talk about the teams guys so this is going to be the first team and I i'm gonna talk about in total of seven teams for molari so just 
brace yourself guys so this is going to be the first team Mulani Jongli Kazua and Shangli Jongli here to protect the Mulani Kazua is here to give her all the elemental damage buffs and Shangling is here to triggering the vaporize reaction so this is going to be the prime team and this is going to be the first team and on the second team we're going to replace Jongli with Bezu Kazua with Furina this is going to be the second team why are we having Bezu here? Why are we having Farina here? Why are we having Shangli here? Okay, so in this team you can trigger Bloom, Burgeon and Vaporize. Vaporize is not going to be triggered because Dendro is involved. So you can trigger the two reactions here. First going to be the Bloom, second going to be the Burgeon. And in both, Molani is very very good. Bezu will help triggering both the reaction, Burgeon and Bloom. Also, Bezu will protect and heal Molani. As we are using Furina, so we are going to need a healer and that's why we are using Bezu here. So Furina is going to give her all the buffs and going to be our her Hydro partner. That's going to be triggering the uh, Elemental Resonance. Hydro Resonance is going to give Mulani's extra 25% HP. Shangling is here to helping in triggering the Burgeon reaction and she is also very very good in terms of support and dealing the damage on the field. So this is going to be the second team. Okay, we talked about the two prime teams here. Now I'm talking about the gonna talk about the third prime team. Then guys, you just have to you know replace the characters that you own and like if you don't have the base, what are you gonna do? You have you can replace base with Yao Yao. So that's gonna be the second prime team. Now the third prime team is this, the proper Bloom team. In this, there's only one reaction that is Bloom, Nahida, Bezu and all the characters help each other triggering the Bloom reaction. Nahida will provide element, extra elemental mastery and also gonna be amazing Dendro applicator. Furina is here to give all the buffs to Mulani, Bezu is here to protect and heal Mulani. So these are three prime teams. Now you can use multiple characters like the fourth team you can go with you can uh, replace Bezu here with Yao Yao and you can replace uh, Nahida here with uh, maybe Teha where's Teha oh okay I, I don't have Teha I think on this account you, uh, you can replace Deha here. Let's consider Klee as Deha for a second. So now this is going to be another Bloom Burgeon team. You can also trigger Bloom reaction here and you can also trigger Burgeon reaction here. So this is going to be the fifth, fifth, uh, fourth team, sorry. And now you can replace Klee here with Kazua. This is going to be again a proper Bloom team here. You can also replace Furina with another character. You can also replace Yao Yao with Emily here. I don't have the Emily. There's, there's going to be the another team. So main thing is you have to create a team around the vaporize reaction, around the burgeon reaction, and the bloom reaction. For the uh, flaw, for the vaporize, you can also I'm use Thoma here. Now, if you're not using any healer, so you need to replace this with another hydro character. There's going to be Yeler or Shinky or Ayato. You can also go further here. You can also use Sidewind here. I don't have the Sidewind, so you can use the Sidewind here. For a, 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 a wind character, uh, you can go with the Venti. If you don't have Kazua, you can go with Venti. If you don't have Venti either, you can go with Sucrose here. So these are plenty, plenty of options for uh, Bolani. Just keep in mind there are only three teams, three, three prime teams. First is Vaporize, second is uh, Burgeon. And th sorry, second is blue and third is virgin or third is both virgin and blue. That's all for the team guys. And the last guy is talking about the talents. So just to make sure level up the normal attack first, then the skill and then the burst. All three are important but leveling up the normal attack first is very important than the elemental skill because elemental skill triggers the night soul uh, effect and normal attack seals the damage according to the night soul and all the factors and elemental burst just you know give them more damage to the enemy that's it doesn't you know do much of a thing but just deals a certain amount of damage aoe hydro damage based on mulani's max hp to the 
Anyway, that's it. That's it for the video guys. I hope you like the video. If you do, please hit the like button. If you still have any question related to Molani or any Genshin characters, you can ask me in the comment. If you want to see more Genshin related videos in the future, subscribe to my channel guys. We'll meet in the next video guys. Till then, bye bye. Take care.